welcome to American Vets Beyond the Battlefield tonight at 1030 Eastern on NBC News Now. That's nightly news. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. Please take care of yourself and each other. Good night. It's a time of rebuilding from the pandemic and ongoing violence. KC24 returns to Armenia, bringing you stories of hope and perseverance. The Valley's Armenia, the mission returns Wednesday at 7 on KC24, sponsored by Ventura TV. Fresno Lexus proudly supports tonight's first segment of local news that matters. Fresno Lexus. Lexus, the relentless pursuit of perfection. News begins with your forecast first from your local weather authority. Hey, good evening. I'm Catherine Phillips filling in for AJ Fox tonight. We had another mostly clear and dry day outside from our valley camera at the Tulare Outlet. You can see the sun has set. It's not too cloudy right now, but we do have a chilly weekend ahead. Current temperatures are in the 50 degree range across the valley. 55 right now in Fresno, 51 in Madera and 53 in Merced. Tomorrow and Sunday morning, fog is possible and we will have those temperatures stay around the 60 degree mark. Casey, 24 News at 6 starts right now. Local news that matters. This is KC24 News at 6. I feel like I'm at a funeral again. Pretty tough. Tough day. But really appreciate all this that's done and the good that comes out of it for the uh, Veterans Administration here. Honoring those who sacrificed to defend our nation. A highly emotional day for many veterans and their families. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Ortega. The ninth annual Veterans Parade underway in downtown Lemoore. Our Juanita Adame joins us now from the parade. Juanita, people have been lined up for hours to see this parade. <laughs> That's right, Jen, they have. The parade is just about to start. I'm going to step out of the way so everybody at home can see. We're on the corner of Heinland and D Streets. This is in downtown Lemoore. And as you guys can see, the ninth annual parade is now underway. It's just starting as we speak. Like you said, police people have been lined up here since earlier today. Tonight's Grand Marshal will be the Blue Star Moms of the Central Valley. The parade is being hosted by Lemoore's American Legion Post 100. Now, we did say take some time this afternoon to speak with some of the Legion's auxiliary members. They tell us this is one of the biggest events in Lemoore and they look forward to it every year. We're a smaller community. We have three different groups. I would say we have about 500 people in this parade. And like Tanya said, there are hundreds of participants in this parade. Everyone from the fire department, the police department, everybody from the Lemoore Naval Air Station. And so it is just taking off. This parade is just starting. And it's a big deal. It's a big, a lot of excitement here in downtown Lemoore. Jen, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, Juanita, looks like a really good time. In downtown Fresno, crowds line the streets around City Hall for the annual Veterans Day Parade. Many who gathered say they just wanted to say thank you to all those who served our country. Some of us have a hard time talking about what we've done and, and what happened. And this coming here helps us, I think, to let go of some of that. Let, I carry survivor's guilt uh, because there's times that I should have been not here. So this helps, I think it helps you to, to let go of some of that stuff. Rick Morales served in several wars. Morales says events and parades honoring vets can make a big difference, especially for those battling depression. Today marked the 104th Veterans Day Parade in Porterville, the annual event put on by the American Legion Post 20. It kicked off with internationally recognized skydiver Jay Stokes landing in front of City Hall with a 2,500 square foot American flag. KC24 Sunrise anchor Caroline Collins hosted this year's parade. The community of Clovis honoring veterans today with a pancake breakfast and a classic car show. Way to say thank you to the family members because they sacrificed as well. Each year, hundreds of vets and their families come together at the Clovis Veterans Memorial District. They get to see old friends and meet new ones too.
You get to see, sometimes you only get to see them once a year. They come out, and a lot of times they're just good friends, catch up on things. The Clovis Veterans Memorial District was founded in 1946 and holds programs honoring vets year round. Dozens of golfers taking to the course at the Fort Washington Country Club this morning for the Hubbard Barrow Memorial Tournament. The tournament honors a Buchanan eight, eight young men from Buchanan High School who paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country. Jeff Hubbard's son, Jared, was killed in action in Iraq in 2004. His son, Nathan, died in Iraq in 2007, fighting in honor of his brother. Hubbard says while events like these are difficult, he appreciates them. I feel like I'm at a funeral again. Pretty tough. Tough day. But I really appreciate all this that's done and the good that comes out of it for the uh, Veterans Administration here. Over half a million dollars have been raised for veterans suffering from post-traumatic injuries since the tournament began 18 years ago. The Fresno Historical Society treating local veterans to a guided tour of the historic Kearney Mansion today. Many veterans who took the tour say it's little things like this that mean a lot. The risk of developing lung disease higher among veterans. Naomi Richem has more on a new law that expands health care and benefits for U.S. veterans. It also adds a, to the list of health conditions that exposes in the military can cause. Air Force veteran John Sepulveda suffers with debilitating health problems related to his deployment in Afghanistan more than 10 years ago. I get flu-like symptoms every month. I have lots of body pain. I cough blood, headaches now from all the coughing. The scary part is I'm in my 40s and this happened to me in my 30s. What's going to happen down the road? Military service members can experience lung disease after harmful exposures from burn pits, desert dust, and IED blasts. What it, it appears is that the problem does not go away. In some of our patients who are veterans with respiratory diseases from deployment, they may actually get worse. Dr. Cecile Rose is with National Jewish Health in Denver, which created the Center for Deployment Related Lung Disease to better understand and diagnose these injuries and develop treatments. Asthma is one of the diagnoses where we have something to offer. For the small airways disease or bronchiolitis, we are starting to look at some of the treatment possibilities as we understand the inflammation that causes this scarring. The PACT Act is a new law that expands health care and benefits for veterans and adds to the list of health conditions that exposures can cause. The fact that these diseases are being recognized and the conditions are being accounted for is, is huge for anyone involved because it's a very frustrating process. Sepulveda is on several medications to help manage his issues, including corticosteroids, migraine drugs, and pain relievers. I've gone through days where I say, I just, I just don't want to do this anymore. And I have a very good support system, and I'm not sure everyone has that. He wants other veterans to know there is help out there. Developing tonight, a 31-year-old woman killed in a suspected DUI crash near Reedley. Fresno County Sheriff's deputies called to the area of Manning and Porter Avenues just after midnight. They found an overturned car in an orange grove. Inside the vehicle, a 31-year-old woman died because she was behind the wheel. A 29-year-old passenger left with moderate injuries. His 4-year-old son and his 2-year-old daughter unharmed. Investigators say DUI is suspected, but the exact cause of the crash is still being investigated. KC24 is your local election headquarters. A major shakeup in Sacramento where Democratic lawmakers have elected a new state assembly speaker. But getting to this point didn't come without drama. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Aton Wallace introduces us to a soon-to-be speaker. People at home may be wondering, why is a new assembly speaker such a big deal? Well, here at the state capitol, it's one of the most powerful jobs, a job Robert Rivas says he looks forward to taking on. <laughs> assembly member Robert Rivas greeted with cheers and smiles shortly after it was announced. Assembly Democrats had unanimously voted to make him the next speaker, replacing Anthony Rendon come July 2023. The news bringing Rivas to tears. Only in California, can we say that a, a, a kid that came from Farmer uh, ascended to be the next speaker of the California State Assembly? Yeah. So obviously, that's uh, 
something I'm very proud of. Um, and uh, certainly uh, excited for the opportunity. An opportunity that came only after his Democratic colleagues met Thursday for more than six hours here at the convention center in downtown Sacramento. It was the second such meeting the Democratic caucus held this year to determine whether to go with Rendon or Rivas. I'm thankful for Speaker Rendon for his leadership um, and, and, and really thankful to have this opportunity to, to, to learn from him and to work with him the next six months. Rendon, who will remain Speaker through June, releasing this statement saying he looks forward to a smooth transition for a role deemed one of the most influential at the Capitol. The Speaker is not only in charge of presiding over the Assembly, but also helps to set the agenda and works directly with Senate leaders and the Governor on key legislation. Past Speakers have included the late Jess M. Unruh before he became State Treasurer, Willie Brown, who would later become San Francisco Mayor, and Karen Bass, now in a tight race for Los Angeles Mayor. But this Salinas Democrat says he's looking forward to the future, focused on the issues. Whether it's housing, homelessness, whether it's uh, transportation, whether it's uh, health care access, uh, we have problems and we're going to be up to the task to solve them. No reaction yet from the governor or state GOP leaders, but when I asked Rivas about his message to Republicans and no party preference Californians, he said he looks forward to working with them. Reporting here outside the state capitol, Aton Wallace, KC24, local news that matters. Still to come on KC24 News at 6, honoring those who defended our freedom and now protect our local communities. A special tribute today to vets who've become cops. Temperatures are currently chilly in the 50 degree range around the valley. I'll have your full forecast coming up, but for now, let's take a look at your four day Boz allergy forecast. Your top pollens are elm and juniper, and levels are pretty low. KC24 News will be right back. Thank you. And very thankful for your organization. The inability to eat this today and this weekend. I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful. Bring joy to families this holiday season by donating a turkey for Catholic Charities. November 22nd at the KC24 Studios. The Colonel's Classic is back at KFC and now just $19.99. Seven drumsticks and thighs in your choice of original recipe or extra crispy. Plus large mashed potatoes with gravy, large coleslaw, and three biscuits. The Colonel's Classic, just $19.99, only at KFC. Fall allergy season has started with grass and weed pollen and high levels of mold in the air. Air pollution makes allergy symptoms worse. Boz Allergy knows coughing, wheezing, and headaches due to allergies and asthma can mimic COVID-19 symptoms, and flu season is starting. Come to Boz Allergy at the first sign of symptoms. Rest assured, we'll diagnose and treat you accurately. Stay safe and stay healthy. Contact Boz Allergy today and breathe easier. Today, buying drugs is as easy as sending a text or ordering online. And while not every illegal drug sold is laced with a deadly amount of fentanyl, there's only one terrifying way to find out. Parents, please talk to your kids about the dangers of fentanyl-laced drugs before it's too late. Many places full of history mark the valley. Join me as I take you on a tour of the people and places that made history right here in our backyard. This week, the story of a valley town with Irish roots. On the map, Thursdays at 6 on KC24. Now your centralvalley.com pros who know. By using third-party financing with competitive programs, your new smile can be affordable and easy. Call Better Life today to see if you qualify. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. KC24 News is always available at the new yourcentralvalley.com. Hey, good evening. I'm Katherine Phillips filling in for AJ Fox tonight. And tonight we're going to see mostly clear overnight skies across the Central Valley. But we are going to have some chilly temperatures with very chilly overnight lows. But we will see some patchy morning fog for tomorrow through the weekend. However, we will see a drier week ahead than the week that we just had with lots of rain. Right now, let's look outside our valley camera from the sun made over in northwest Fresno. You can see the sun has set so much earlier sunsets now the daylight savings time 
has come and we've switched the clocks back, but overall a beautiful night outside, just chilly outside. As far as our high temperature went today, we were a little bit below normal. 61 degrees was our high today. The average for this time of year, 67 degrees. And take a look at this sunset for tomorrow at 4 52 p.m. Just think about that for a second. So much earlier than what we have been seeing. Right now across the valley, you can see the temperatures have dropped considerably since our high temperature this afternoon. 55 in Fresno, 51 in Madera, 53 in Merced, and 49 degrees in Hanford. If we take a look at our future cast radar, you can see that fog we talked about coming through. This is Saturday in the afternoon hours at noon on Sunday, though. It will be clear by then. For our air quality, you can see Merced and Madera and Sequoia National Park all in the good air quality category for tomorrow, but Fresno Kings and Tulare counties all in the moderate air quality category. For overnight low temperatures, as I said, it will be chilly in the 30s and 40 degree range, just depending on where you are across the valley. So Selma, 37 degrees for your overnight low, but up in Sequoia, 21 degrees for your overnight low. And in the North Valley, Madera, 37 degrees, Chowchilla, 36 degrees, and Mariposa, 37 degrees overnight. For tomorrow, let's walk you through what you're going to see. Mariposa 55 degrees for your afternoon high temperature. Madera 60 degrees. Fresno 61 degrees. Selma 62 degrees. And in the South Valley, Hanford 62 degrees. Visalia 62 degrees. And Kettleman City 63 degrees for your afternoon high temperature. For tonight in Fresno and Clovis, partly cloudy, 40 degrees for your overnight low. And we will see some cloudy skies with just a little bit of a breeze. For tomorrow in Fresno and Clovis, warming up to 61 degrees. Some fog is possible in the mornings, but as we warm up and get into those afternoon hours, it should be clear, just some clouds, so not too bad of a weekend for Saturday. For your five-day forecast, those temperatures in the 60-degree range are going to stick around. So 61 degrees Saturday, 57 degrees on Sunday, but by Monday, 60 degrees for your high Tuesday. We're going to see some clouds roll in with a high of 60 degrees. Wednesday, 64 degrees. And as our seven-day forecast, we can see Thursday, 63 degrees. Friday, 62 degrees. And check out those overnight low temperatures in the 30-degree range for most of this week. If you want to see this forecast or others, you can go to yourcentralvalley.com. We also have some regional forecasts, which are handy if you're traveling this weekend. It looks like winter came early. I would say if it's in the 30 <laughs> degree range, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's chilly. I'm gonna say it's cold. So, yeah, it's yeah, pretty cold. Pretty cold. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. You're welcome. Time to see what's coming up in sports, so let's send it over to Scott Bemis. Hey, Scott. Well, Jen, Bulldog football will look to keep things rolling in Vegas tonight. Why Jeff Tedford thinks it won't be easy. Plus, Fresno State Hoops playing an afternoon game on the coast against a team featuring a former Central Valley star. Sports Central is next. Winner, winner for your local dinner. America's obsessed with Lopez versus Lopez. Finally, something good to watch on Fridays. Help! You think I can't tell when somebody's speaking it? I learned a lot being married to your mom. New Lopez versus Lopez tonight on NBC. Sometimes it's about knowing what you want. You know what you want? I do. This wedding came together fast. She ain't pregnant, is she? No. Because she drinking a lot for a pregnant one. <laughs> New Young Rock, tonight on NBC. I see on Casey stories of everyday people making a big difference. I see farmers and ranchers providing food for the nation. The work they do is so vitally important, and that inspires me to make sure they know what to prepare for. From their farm to our tables. We are all connected in the Central Valley. I see what matters, I see local stories making an impact, and I invite you to see it all here every day on KC24 News. How are the costumes coming for the Double Bonus Jack combo promotion? Great, we left one with your assistant. Do you guys hear something? Introducing the Double Bonus Jack combo, just $5.49. 10 short films by 10 Valley filmmakers. Join KC24 for the Big Tell Showcase. Inspiring local stories throughout our valley. Made possible by these local partners. The Big Tell, November 26th at 8 on KC24. Meet a doctor who connects all the dots. Oftentimes, people with low back pain, knee pain, or hip pain don't even recognize that it's actually coming from their feet. Their feet? For real? Absolutely, 100%. It can have a domino effect because their foot and their ankle aren't supported properly. Their whole body is out of whack. Getting back into whack? Good feet arch supports could help. Keeping your body in good alignment, that can go a long way. Come in for your free fitting at the Good Feet Store. 
My double bonus jack combo gives you double the seasoned beef, double the cheese for $5.49. Let's see that again. Double beef, double cheese for, yeah, $5.49. Huh, good deal. KC24 News is brought to you in part by More Furniture for Less. Now, Sports Central, presented by Toyota. Cole Anderson was a four-year standout at Clovis West, who left C-Dub as the school's all-time leading scorer. He ended up choosing UCSB over nine other offers, including one from Fresno State. Monday in Santa Cruz, in front of family and high school friends, Anderson's Gauchos faced off against the Bulldogs. That is Cole's former high school coach, Vance Walberg, by the way, at the bottom left of that photo there. Gabe Camarilla helping us out with a little video here, and Jordan Campbell helping the dogs here. Fresno State, though, still down two at the half. Now, late in this one, it was Anderson making the biggest play with under 2.30 to go, gives the Gauchos a six-point lead with that corner three. He had three threes in the final 11 and a half minutes. UCSB gives Fresno State its first loss, beating the dogs 61-54. The Bulldog women, meantime, hosting Cal State Bakersfield as we speak at the Save Mart Center. This one has been back and forth, but at last check, the Roadrunners led by three with under 30 seconds to go in the fourth. Senior Yanin Tatarova is having a nice game for Fresno State. She has 24 points for the Bulldogs. Meantime, the Fresno State football team will look for a fifth straight win when they kick things off against UNLV in Vegas at 7.30 tonight. Now, after a promising 4-1 start, the Rebels have lost four in a row, but that losing streak kind of coincided with them losing their starting quarterback, Doug Brungfield. He's back now, so Coach Tedford is expecting a battle. They're one of the top, I don't know, four uh, offensive units in our conference. They're up there in, in passing, and, uh, you know, so he was out for a couple games, I think, with a concussion, but he came back this last week, and, and really they probably should have won the game uh, last week against San Diego State. They just had some turnovers in the red zone, uh, but they moved the ball, you know, they moved the ball really well against San Diego State, which we know is not easy to do. The dogs are currently favored by nine and a half points. We still don't know whether Josh Allen will play this Sunday against the Vikings in Buffalo. The Fireball High and Reby College alum is listed as questionable with his injured elbow after being deemed a limited participant at practice Friday. Bills coach Sean McDermott tells Atlanta Getzenberg of ESPN.com his status is being viewed as hour to hour at this point. Finally, ex-Bulldog Devontae Adams continues to sound off about his role with the 2-6 and six Raiders. This week's Adams telling reporters, quote, they paid me to come here and make plays, so he thinks the offense should be more aggressive about getting him the football. He's not blaming the coaches and is fine with spreading it around, but if the offense is struggling, he says he should be more involved. Devontae saying the ball should come his way at times, even if he's double teamed, because teams rarely give him single coverage. The Raiders host the three-win Colts at 105 on Sunday. The news continues after the break. The brave nurse who stopped the man said to be America's most prolific serial killer. How she helped stop his monstrous murder spree. He murdered people right in front of me. Next, Inside Edition. Inside Edition, tonight at 7 on KC24. T-Mobile covers 99% of people in America. So when we say we have your town covered, we mean it. I'm able to go to any of the small towns and still pick up great service. And great coverage is just the beginning. Families and small businesses can save up to 900 bucks versus Verizon. We actually save way more now than we did with our old carrier. The amount of money you save with T-Mobile, it's just awesome. Plus, with our T-Mobile price lock, we guarantee we won't raise the price of your rate plan. Switch today. This is a town called Basic. It's pretty hard to stand out around here. But if you pull up in a 2022 Nissan Rogue, you'll stand out before your feet even hit the pavement. Can you make mine look like that? Anything but Basic. The 2022 Nissan Rogue. Get 2.19% financing for 36 months on the 2022 Nissan Rogue with best-in-class fuel economy. At Long John Silver's, throw boring overboard with the fish and shrimp feast. Dipped in our signature batter and fried to golden perfection. Complete your feast with Wisconsin white cheddar cheese bites and ride a wave of melty goodness. Order ahead at longjohnsilvers.com. Fish yeah. So with a Planet Fitness Black Card, I'll get a post-workout glow like that guy? 
Everybody know that you need to glow, you need to glow, to glow, to grow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Cause when you got the glow, that is no stopping what you want to do. Oh. And I can bring a friend. It's the way of life. Okay, sign me up. Get the PF Black Card for zero enrollment, $24.99 a month, and get a free Amazon Halo View. Ends November 15th. It's glow time. The Black Friday sale is on at More Furniture, and we've got incredible values to maximize comfort and value in your living room. Get this durable performance fabric dual power sofa for only $12.95. Or choose this dual power reclining sofa with plush, comfortable fabric in two color options for only $12.95. No matter what you choose, you'll always get the best price at More Furniture during our Black Friday sale. Preview all sales specials online at morefurniture.com. It's a time of rebuilding from the pandemic and ongoing violence, but there's more work to do to help the people that hang in the balance. KC24 returns to Armenia to bring you stories of hope and perseverance. Specialists giving care to citizens and wounded soldiers who still face violence at the border. They're supporting missions that come here to do everything for free. Fresno City Council member Mike Harbasi meets with Armenian officials to strengthen bonds. The Valley's Armenia, the mission returns Wednesday at 7 on KC24, sponsored by Fashion Furniture. KC24 News is brought to you in part by More Furniture for Less. This is KC24 News at 6. Veterans Day, it's a holiday that goes all, goes all the way back to World War I. Germany and allies signed an agreement to end war hostilities. Fighting ceased on the 11th hour, on the 11th day, on the 11th month. November 11th became known as the end of the war to end all wars, according to the Department of Veterans Affairs. But it wasn't always called Veterans Day. President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11th as Armistice Day in 1919 to honor those who served in World War I. It wasn't until 1954 that it was changed to Veterans Day throughout part of the 1970s. Veterans Day was celebrated in October, but it was eventually changed back to the original date of November 11th. In addition to the parades and celebratory events, many are paying their tribute to those in our nations as heroes online. <laughs> The Fresno Police Department posting this TikTok today honoring officers who've served in military and are continuing their service in our community. Law enforcement is among most common job careers for U.S. veterans. We have much more coming up on KC24 News at 6.30, the latest on Hurricane Nicole, which has made its way through Florida. Plus, the latest midterm results and the possible shift in the national balance of power. If you've been injured in an accident that's not your fault and you don't have an attorney, listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to answer your questions and tell you what your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina along with spokesman Rob. So Rob, tell the folks at home who should call right now. Just like you said, Gina, anyone who's been injured in an accident that was not your fault, you don't have an attorney, give us a call right now. We're going to answer all of your questions and we'll let you know what your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Rob. You heard it, folks at home. Pick up the phone. Call now. Disaster and damage can strike any time. It's good to know the professionals at SurPro have the training and equipment to get your life back on the right track. Whether it's water, fire, or storm damage, for restoration and cleaning, count on SurPro of Clovis, Visalia, Fresno, and Shaver. What makes best reviews the best reviews? They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to give reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. Call that a plasma sword? So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. I went on a couple tours in the Army to Iraq. Unfortunately, in my last tour, I got injured. It was a nightmare. I mean, I, at one point, I think I was taking about 300 pills a month and I spiraled out of control. My heart stopped twice. I collapsed. My wife had to like slap me and I still wasn't moving. That's when I said it's time. I, I gotta figure something out. You have to get that pride down and go get some help. Seven years later, I would never imagine this is where I'm at. This message is brought to you by the Department of Behavioral Health, where hope and healing unite. Your health matters to you and to KC24. That's why we started Buddy Check 24 back in 1996. 
I've been honored to meet you, walk with you, and help raise breast cancer awareness. I've listened to your stories of courage and shared important health information. Every month, I'll remind you to call your buddy for life-saving self-exams. Go to yourcentralvalley.com and download our app to receive these alerts. Together, you and Buddy Check 24 will continue to save lives. Winner, winner, for your local dinner. America's obsessed with Lopez versus Lopez. Finally, something good to watch on Fridays. Help! You think I can't tell when somebody's faking it? I learned a lot being married to your mom. New Lopez versus Lopez, tonight on NBC. Sometimes it's about knowing what you want. You know what you want? I do. This wedding came together fast. She ain't pregnant, is she? No. Because she's drinking a lot for a pregnant woman. <laughs> New Young Rock, tonight on NBC. Get the most cash for your Rolex watch at Valley Watch Firm, your number one Rolex resource in the Central Valley. We specialize in buying and selling vintage and pre-owned Rolex watches. Visit valleywatchfirm.com, the experts for all your Rolex needs. Valley Watch Firm, we won't waste your time. Hi, folks, we're back, and we're here to remind you, if you've been injured in an accident that's not your fault and you don't have an attorney, listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to tell you how much money you can get for your accident and how quickly. Hello, I'm Gina, along with spokesperson Rob. Rob, tell the folks at home who should call right now. 